<laughs> what is that? Well, this is, uh, this is the first issue of uh, Extra, and it was originally conceived uh, to be put in uh, people's back pockets because it was free, and it was promoting uh, the body politic, which was our principal publication at the time. It was only available in bookstores where you had to pay for it, so we were trying to solve the dilemma of getting uh, people who mainly went to bathhouses and clubs to go into a bookstore and buy our magazine. So that's where Extra came from and that's why it started out this size. So uh, would people, people would walk around with these in their back pockets like, like hanky codes for Toronto? Well that was our fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall ever seeing anyone with one in their back pocket, so <laughs> it may not have been a great idea from that point of view. Uh, well, you know, it's been interesting. It's been an interesting 30 years. Uh, our original publication, The Body Politic, lasted 15 or 16 years, so uh, it's, uh, I think, a testament to the, uh, the institution that Extra has managed to thrive in an industry which is not doing very well. Did you expect it to last 30 years? Did you expect to be here today when you found it? Well, you know, I've never had any expectations. That's the, the funny thing about it. I think when we started the organization all those years ago, uh, we thought that it was all going to be over in a matter of a few years and that you know, the revolution would come and so forth. Uh, so I've never actually had any notion of um, how long uh, the publication ought to go on for or how it should last. I do tell people I think our organization and extra, extra like publications need to be around for at least 200 years to affect any permanent change in our society. You've got an editorial in this week's issue about 30 years at, uh, at Extra, and uh, you talk about um, some of the ongoing challenges in the LGBT movement. You talk about uh, Mayor Ford as sort of a, and Ford Nation as sort of a harbinger of mm -hmm. uh, some of the problems that the LGBT community still faces. Right. Um, do, you, do you really think that uh, it's, it, there, there's that much danger, that there's that much uh, threat out there to the advances the LGBT community has made in the last 30 years? Well, I think the real problem there and the danger is that we don't know the answer to that question. Uh, we haven't uh, looked very closely at Ford Nation. Our media has not looked very closely at Ford Nation. It's been treated as sort of an off-the-stage thing that accounts for Rob Ford and presumably Doug Ford as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've sort of scanned the media looking for studies of explanations of the people who make up his following. They're not that easy to find and they tend to be focused on what I would think mainly irrelevant demographics like their age groups and, and so on. So I do think that we'd be foolish not to uh, think about that. Has there been an issue that uh, Extra's coverage of it has made you particularly proud? Um, I think there's been a lot of the issues over the time, and I'm not going to point to any one particular. They've been different in different communities, and whether that's mobilizing change within a community organization, whether it's fighting some sort of level of discrimination at a government level or even at a community level. Um, I think what always amazes me about Extra are the people who have worked here over the decades and who've been committed to trying to build a stronger community and that Extra has been able to mobilize different types of people, um, sometimes on different issues with different views and sometimes bringing those divergent views together to work on a common issue where we agree. Um, it's been kind of the broader impact of Extra that has always resonated with me and I think that's why it's still here 30 years later. Lucinda, you have been with Extra on and off for 20 years. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the, the visual style of Extra and how it's changed over um, the 30 years that Extra has been in, uh, in print. Um, so you, uh, you went through the archives and uh, assembled this uh, uh, archive wall here. Well, I've been trying to. It's a little overwhelming uh, in the archive room because it's just towers of old issues that are there. And um, I really just scratched the surface, but we've been trying to scan stuff and you know, the long-term goal is It'd be nice to have everything digitized, but uh, it's a huge task in itself because this should be preserved. It's really a history of uh, gay rights, and each issue is like a little snapshot of what was going on at the time, uh, not just in terms of gay rights, but also in terms of the publishing technology that was available mm -hmm. to them. The way that Extra looked, I mean, the X is just... This actually uh, was, I think it was Rick Bebu, part of the original Body Politic. 
And uh, you know, some some things that have uh, um, been part of Extra for a long time that we can see like where they get started. Like this is uh, you said this is the first exposed column at Extra mm -hmm. um, club photos and. Uh, 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 performers uh, in uh, in the gay clubs in Toronto. We have, um, uh, I guess, the the early version of, of extra hot or extra special people. Um, yes, yes. Community the, members getting profiles. Yes, we have um, the first extra hot here somewhere as well. There we go. Yeah. Here's our first extra hot. We're actually <laughs> running at this issue. At oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that that okay. is as 1989. Is. <laughs> 1989. So you get this real. It's almost like set in stone. And the thing is, is that you can't do that with a website. It's impossible to go back in time in a website. And even if you could, you probably don't want to because websites don't really age as well. Um, digital files get moved around, hyperlinks break. So the print product is still, in a way, it's like our dependable way of looking back at, at our, our history here at Extra. And, be able to see like yes this is what was going on and, and here's the part that we had in it all right well thank you so much uh and uh pick up our 30th anniversary issue of extra on the stands on thursday mm -hmm.